The Pola Narwa District United Agrarian Farmers Federation convened a media briefing today. On the 1st of July, I was allowed to participate in a discussion with the President. The meeting was held at the Agriculture Ministry. Certain associations representing small-scale farmers were also present. There are three types of farmers' associations in the country. They are Mahaveli, Irrigation and Small-Scale Farmers. We belong to the group of Irrigation Farmers. There are 500,000 hectares of arable land on which paddy is being cultivated in Sri Lanka. 250,000 hectares are used by farmers like us. But decisions are made with associations representing small-scale farmers. This meeting is a clear indication of that. Farmers are accusing agrarian officers for their current situation. You might have seen me holding a paper during the meeting with the president. That document contains a segment of the shortcomings and some concepts regarding organic fertilizer. Before the meeting, Minister of Agriculture Mahinda Nandalut Gamage had met with the heads of the farmers' associations and informed them that certain matters should be promoted and discussed during the meeting. He had asked them to speak about the matters which he had briefed them on. The discussion with the president then began afterwards but no one could express their views freely. Farmers of Dadruoya in Chilau marched in protest from the Sipikalana Viharastania to the Sipikalana Ayanaika temple. They broke coconuts and pleaded with the gods for a solution to the fertilizer shortage in the country. Potato farmers in Hangunnava over Parnagama staged a demonstration today demanding for fertilizer. Dr. Hema Kumara Nanayakara, an expert in the field of agriculture, expressed these remarks on the fertilizer shortage in the country. It will take at least two years to reap the harvest after transitioning to organic farming from the usage of chemical fertilizer. If this transformation is done abruptly, the harvest could drop to 40 to 50 percent. There is no argument about that. The president may not have an understanding about the dangerous decision he made. Otherwise, he may have been misled by a group of fools who do not have any experience in agriculture. This could also be a small part of a bigger plan to direct our country into poverty. If farmers are deprived of an income, they will abandon their fields. When that happens, international companies will acquire those lands. The government is making decisions without a direction. A specialist committee conducted a survey regarding this matter. When the harvest reduced by 40 to 50 percent, the importation of vegetables, fruits and crops will cost $2.2 billion annually. The government is facing a shortage of foreign currency reserves. How can we repay our loans if we import them? 
the loans will have to be repaid by selling our lands. I believe that the government is on the verge of destroying agriculture and transferring our lands to foreign companies under the guise of protecting organic agriculture.